Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are starting off the Christmas DIY season. I'm crafting my stash with things I already had. My Dollar Trees do not have Christmas stuff in yet or didn't really last time I was in, but I have some stuff on hand. We're gonna be using some Dollar Tree items, Hobby Lobby, thrifted items, a little bit of everything, but it's already stuff that I had on hand. Let's get started with these DIYs. So to get started with our first DIY, I have this Joy Word sign from the uh, from Hobby Lobby. I paid 99 cents for it on clearance. Unfortunately, when I was taking the sticker off, it kind of peeled off the surface, but that's okay with what we're doing. You won't be able to tell. You can buy these different, um, it's, like a, it's like a cardboard type material. You can buy these at Hobby Lobby or even like Walmart. This particular one I was showing you had holes on the back to like hang it up with the nails if you wanted. I'm just going to do like a leaner sign, but you could also like um, make a, a base for it if you wanted. Anyways, we're going to coat this with some Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I did water it down just a little bit because the paint's pretty thick. You don't want it to be watered down very much, just and you may not need to water yours down at all, but you want to be mindful that this is like a papery cardboard material, so I didn't want it to like peel up or wrinkle. I'm going to give it one coat on the front, um, we're gonna be putting something else on it so I didn't do a second coat. I'm also gonna paint all of the edges. I want this to look finished and it will definitely look a little bit more high end if all of the grooves and stuff are painted. I also painted the back here with like two coats because I wanted it to just, I figured white looked a little bit more, a little bit nicer than the brown cardboard. <laughs> so we're now gonna cover this with some Mod Podge, Mod Podge of any kind. I'm using my dishwasher Mod Podge no particular reason except for it was convenient uh, to grab and this was going underneath something so I didn't really care so much about what finish it had and we're going to do the iron on method so if you're not familiar with that you want to make sure to give a good coat of Mod Podge cover all of the edges and let it fully dry this is a way to add we're going to use tissue paper and this method makes it so that you don't have a bunch of wrinkles I have this tissue paper I believe it is from the Dollar Tree um, I've been using it for DIYs for a couple of years now, but I think it's beautiful. And we're just going to lay that on top and then use some parchment paper and then an iron with no steam and just slowly go over it. I'm just kind of working my way over. I gave a slight little tug on the tissue paper to make sure it wasn't like buckling underneath. And this will reactivate the Mod Podge and cause a seamless, um, like, adhesion between the tissue paper. I'm just checking, pulling gently to make sure it was all stuck down and it was. And I just absolutely love using this method. You do want to paint the surface though. That's why I painted some white because it's tissue paper so you can see through it and I wanted the design to really pop. So then I went in with some scissors and just kind of cut into each of the spaces so that I could get in there to sand this down. So I'm using a sanding block on the larger surfaces and then an emery board here on all of the little in-between grooves. That works really, really well. I'm cutting the tissue paper at any of the angles so that I'm not tearing. And you just want to push away, sand away from the sign so that you're not pulling up on the tissue paper at all. And this gives a nice clean edge. You could also try to trim it off with like an X-Acto knife, but I love using this method and it works really good. And then for these tiny little uh, places here, I'm using a piece of sandpaper I end up propping up one end of the joy sign on like probably a bottle of paint and then I'm just slowly pulling it through to just sand off those hard to reach edges and it worked perfectly. So I just kept going around the whole thing, um, going back and forth between the sanding block, the sandpaper and the emery board until I got um, a nice clean edge all the way around and then we're going to seal it in again with some more Mod Podge. I don't always feel like it's as necessary. Oh, and I'm fixing a little spot there that didn't stick, you can see. Um, I feel like the iron-on method really gives it a good seal because it almost is like it pulls the Mod Podge through the tissue paper. But for good measure, I decided to give this a coat of Mod Podge and just seal it in, especially around the edges, making sure everything was in there nice and good. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Leanne. I share budget-friendly DIYs here on this channel, and I hope that you consider subscribing before you leave so you don't miss out on my future videos. So I wanted to add just a little bit of detail. I thought about adding some greenery, but honestly, I really like this just as is, but I wanted to add a little bit of dimension. So I'm using antique wax. Um, you could just use a brown paint, just make sure you don't have too much on your stencil brush. 
And first I emphasize all of the edges to kind of highlight, um, you know, make that stand out. And then I did a little bit across the whole thing to just kind of make it a little older looking and less, less crisp. And I love how this came out. I'll end up just kind of laying it between other decor pieces. And I really can't wait to pull this one out for Christmas. I might be DIYing, but I'm not decorating quite yet. But uh, I love how that one came out. All right, so up next, I have this little, I don't know what you call it, kind of like an ornament, but uh, it's from 4th of July. They're patriotic decor from Hobby Lobby. I bought it when it was 90% off, so I probably paid like 20 cents. So I took off the hanger and the bead, and I have this pack of paper also from Hobby Lobby. Um, lots of pretty paper, and the package is originally $5.99. I'm sure I got it like 40 or 50% off. And I'm just going to cut off a piece here that I thought would go really well. And we're going to just use this as an ornament. I don't know if it was in, I don't think you do ornaments for patriotic decor. I guess it might have just been, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I love buying stuff on clearance or at thrift stores that I'm like, I can make this over. So that's what this is. So we're going to give a good coat of Mod Podge. I'm not going to use the iron-on method for here for this one because the paper is pretty thick. Oh, I stuck a little piece of paper down in the hole to get out any Mod Podge because I didn't want it drying in there all gloopy and getting in the way later. Um, yes, I think I just said gloopy. So this paper is pretty thick, so I wasn't worried about it getting wrinkly. So I just played, placed this right on there and used my little roller. I think it's called a brayer. It's from Plaid, um, which is a company that uh, creates Mod Podge. And once that was dry, I'm once again sanding away to get any of the edges um, of the paper off. And I'm also just kind of sanding the whole thing, but I was emphasizing getting the paper off. And then I'm just using a little pokey tool to recreate the hole. This is actually called a dotting tool. I picked it up at um, Dollar Tree. Pick up any of their little tools and gadgets and Cricut tools, even if you don't have any of those things, because I love the little sharp hook piece for things. And I use this little dotting tool a couple times in this video. They're just handy little little things. So now I'm pulling some um, stickers. I think these might have come from Hobby Lobby. I tried to pick them up on clearance. And this little wooden snowflake, this came in a large pack from the craft store. Um, Dollar Tree has one similar as well. I don't think these ones were from there, but I'm not sure. And um, I'm just going to put snow on here and I'm just Gently placing the stickers. Dollar Tree does have stickers as well, um, but placing those on. And then while, I guess I decided to, I did, oh, I think my, my glue gun's heating up. So I decided to restring the twine. And I had to just put a little piece of tape on the end to do that because um, it was starting to fray. I could have grabbed a new piece of twine, but I just thought I'd use what, what they gave me. And I'm just trying to do it like it was when I got it. So I believe there was a knot. And then I just used a couple of natural colored beads. Um, I thought about painting the one that it came with, but I had these in my stash. First, I was going to do three and then I'm looking at it. I'm like, I don't know, it look better with three, two, one. I don't know. I decided to go with two and then just uh, put another knot at the top. And now I'm using just a little bit of hot glue to glue on our snowflake. And that is the O. And this worked out perfectly because I did not have any O stickers left in this pack. And um, I was going to add the snowflake anyway. But then when I realized I didn't have the O, it worked out even more perfect. And actually, it looks like there wouldn't have been room. I was going to do the S-N-O-W plus the snowflake, but there actually wouldn't have been room for that anyway. It all worked out. And then I'm going in with some matte Mod Podge because the stickers were a little too glossy for me. So I'm sealing it all in with some Mod Podge, Mod Podge to tone it down. And then a little bit more antique wax, very little of it, on my stencil brush around the edges, a little bit over the whole thing, and a tiny bit on the beads. I'm not staining them. I'm just dirtying them up a little bit. I like it to look a little bit older. And then I did the sides and even the back because, you know, ornaments do turn around when they're on the tree. And I will be putting this on my tree. I like to make a couple ornaments every year. So I don't have a tree out right now. Uh, to, to show you this, but I just have it standing up here and I love how that one came out. All right, so this next one, this is also a sign from Hobby Lobby, but I did not get it at Hobby Lobby. I picked this up at a thrift store and I'm pretty sure I got it for 99 cents or 49 cents because that's usually what I buy things for. And then this bag is from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, I've already used half of this bag. It was a two pack. One, I think just said Merry Christmas on it. The other one had these trees. I love the kind of rustic-y colors and the brown paper. 
As I was pulling off the handle, I accidentally ripped a hole, but I was like, I think I have enough of it left to fit in here, and I did. I thought that covering it with paper would be easier than painting it and not getting paint on the frame because I liked the wood tone of this frame, even though we are gonna add a little bit to it. So I got a couple edges of the bag straight and then um, fit that in there and just kind of creased where I needed to do the other two cuts. And I'm using my paper cutter because I just don't feel like I can cut super straight. I think I'm cutting straight until I'm trying to cut straight in, in a project. It doesn't look all that straight. Okay, so we're gonna put a coat of Mod Podge. I would have liked to do the iron-on method, but I didn't think I could get into all the corners. So I'm just gonna place this in there. And then I have this, it's like a little rubber squeegee. This is also by, um, by Plaid. You could use like a credit card or something, but the rubber on it is really, really great. Um, you still have to be careful to not tear the paper, but it worked excellent. And as you can see, I'm kind of, as I'm pushing it, I'm kind of lifting up and scraping up any extra Mod Podge that was in there. Um, as I smoothed it out and I had a tiny, one, I think one tiny wrinkle, um, but I was able to smooth most of it out. And then I have this liquid adhesive. This is from the Dollar Tree. Any glue that you have that you think would be fine would work. I am just wanted something with a small uh, tip and my head repeatedly gets in the way. So sorry about that, but I'm trying to see what I'm doing. And I'm just taking some thin jute twine from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my dotting tool once again. I just do a little section at a time because I needed the glue to really ad adhere and hold the twine. And so I'm using my dotting tool and this little other scraper tool, again, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just pushing it into the edge. I just wanted to give it a border, make sure that all the space was covered in case the paper, you know, didn't go all the way to the edge in one spot. Plus, I like the little subtle detail of the jute twine. And then I have this vinyl piece. You never see me use vinyl because, get friends, I don't have a Cricut. But my dear friend, Kendra at Late Night Creations, sent me a little goodie box. And in there was some vinyl pieces, some stencils, some transfers. I'm not sure what everything's called, but you'll be seeing them in some DIYs. So thank you, Kendra. This was my first time applying one, and I did pretty good. And I am just slowly peeling it back and then, you know, making sure if something is not... Um, did not transfer, then I just laid it back down and pushed down a little bit more with my finger or my little scraper tool. And um, But you could use a stencil, you could use an image, you can use whatever you have at your disposal. Um, but I put this piece on earth. See, I lost a little bit of that wreath, but don't worry, I got it on there. No problem. And this is a pretty simple sign. I wanted to tie in a little bit of the black. I didn't want it to be dark but from the vinyl. So I'm just dry brushing with a little bit of black around the frame just to give it a little bit more depth and like it subtly brings in a little black, but it's not like super obvious. And I kind of emphasize like the corners and I don't know, I don't know. But this is what I did. I didn't add anything else. That is it for this DIY. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, let me know which one is your favorite. If there's anything that you're gonna try, let me know down in the comments. That helps me out a ton as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.